If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. by a freight train. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I... Could. A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security system now. The door should be unlocked. Dead. Now! You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. 
ductal bypass on it. Mike, careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. How did he wake up so fast? He just got here. Sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can.
to the line, Mike. Give it up. That's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. You could use some lessons in hospitality. I'll forgive you this time. Gracious of you. So this is how the conversation is going to go. You... Me, video screen? Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk face to face. That make you feel better? I don't need any more tests, and you know it. Just give me the mission and let's do this. Good to hear. I was a little worried. You need some more time to recover. Still, we need to brief you on your gear, weapons, and your security clearance. Won't take long. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file's got a lot of gaps in it. A lot more than I usually see in field agents. Those gaps were hard to fill. I thought those records were buried. We're pretty good at digging. The ops needed to be done. Whatever they were. Looks like they were sad to see you go. And probably happy at the same time. But you wouldn't be a good field agent if your boots didn't get dirty. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pin here, and meet the rest of the crew. Alright. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own, and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Big-ass screen. No weapons past this point.
Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Our war does not end here. This target you might want is to take it a little last. easier when you escape. With next our time. will and our resolve, Al Samad shall continue these attacks. Fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. Yes, for weapons have been delivered to us. Weapons that will make a graveyard in the skies of our enemies. We have the ability to strike far and to strike swiftly. There are no limits to our reach, no limits to the justice we bring in the name of freedom for our people. I am a man of my word. And this, I promise you, this attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. As fire rains down upon us, so shall Al Samad bring fire to your people as well. The West and its allies shall bear the cost of what they brought to our people, to our country, and they will answer for it. You seek to take our land? Undermine our faith? All that you have seen... You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? As much as I thought was necessary. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. I gave it my best and so did they. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. It's almost like you did a 180 as soon as you left this room. Hey, I stopped by the vending machine. Huh. Well, I suppose we'll have to waive the physical evaluation. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteer. Usually, we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. My opinion isn't important. Yours is. Not out in the field, and not when you're dealing directly with others. Then your opinion is all that counts. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're gonna discuss now. I'd rather skip the pep talk and get started. Fair enough. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good, because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Specs and shadiness of this whole thing aside, how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. You know where he is? No, but that'll be part of your mission in the Middle East. 
find the missiles, then find him and take him out. You don't want him taken alive. If he cooperates, sure, bring him in. On the off chance he tries to kill you, then put a bullet in his head. I'll put my years in charm school to use. All right, then pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit, and on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well, I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia.